Welcome to Nerdities. Bitches. No topic too absurd, no statement too asinine. Nerdy Jersey's finest coming at you. That's right, Nerdy. Woo! Be excited, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm Mike. <laughs> Make it till you make it, baby. I <laughs> am long Justin. Long day today, long day tomorrow. Who's with me? Justin. Yep. There you go. Kyle. There Finn. Go, the guy in the chair. All right. Thanks for making the job easy, everybody. Hey, who wants to get depressed? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, this is a long, Why not? It's a long Let's one. Let's hear it. That's go for it. Go. Turn it up. You want to go youngest or oldest? Sh- sure. Sure. Uh, she was olive oil to a generation, as well as Wendy, and she was a background actress, well, supporting actress in Roxanne. Kelly uh, Duvall, 75 years old. Do you remember? Did you say youngest to oldest? Youngest to oldest. Yeah. Yeah. Man. There's an there's an older loss this week. Yeah. There's a younger one. Well, there's yeah. younger. That yeah. was the younger one. That who else? Yeah, was, I was very yeah. confused. Oh, the chick charmed. Ch- Shannon. I was like, Shannon Doherty. Doherty. no right. fucking Shannon white dude and Shelly Duvall. Totally forgot to write down Shannon Doherty. Yeah, we should start with Shannon Doherty. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. Uh, lost your battle. Power of one. The power of two. The power of three. Did you read uh, what what Kevin what? Smith wrote? That was. That one was really nice. Yeah. Uh, he wanted her from the get-go for Mallrats. Jeremy yeah. London, too, had a bunch of really nice posts about her. I, I did not know this, but she was his children's godmother. Really? Pretty cool. Sweet. Be for them. Yeah. She was 53, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was young. Because... Uh, Shelley Duvall was 75. Uh, I love Papa. I love anybody else. The Shining is. Mm-hmm. And Ma- Mother Goose. The Rock- Shining is brilliant. Rock and Rhyme? Was that her? Megan's never seen it. Megan's never seen it. Shamer. Shamer. Everyone's Shamer right now. She like horror movies? Well, she, she lives with you. There's no way it's going to happen. Yeah, I'll watch that sometime. Maybe. If you want to watch. <laughs> we'll watch it in the daytime. Sunday afternoon at 12. Here. Can we do another commentary? For I was going to say, wait, Finn, hold on. I have something for you. If you want to watch it with a fantastic commentary track, we we did one about eight years ago. Really? And it was yeah. so good, Sony Pictures sent us a cease and desist to fucking take it down. I shit you well, not. That's, that's why they sent us. That. Oh, wow. Well, well dude, that's good. I mean, a copyright infringement. Yeah, nothing to do with that's that. That's good. It was because of how good it was. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you gotta think, Kyle. If it got on their radar, it was getting around. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You gotta think. If we hashtagged The Shining on it, which we definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> True. They got some dweeb over there. You can actually copyright infringement over here. We can't do hey. that. Hey, it's one of my proudest emails I've ever gotten in my life. That's yeah. a nice email. Did you print it out? It's saved. When I get an actual office, when my sister-in-law eventually moves the fuck out, and I turn the upstairs into my office, it'll be one of the things that's printed and framed. <laughs> Why are you so mean to her, always? I'm not mean to her? How am I fucking mean to her? I don't know, I just feel like you never cut her some any slack. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my balls on your forehead. We don't live in the same house. You're only up the street from me. Uh, I have locks on my doors. Your wife likes me more than you. That's not true at all. You started there. You hesitated for a second. Let's pull her. Where is she? What? Where's your wife? With Emery. I'll text her. What are you going to say? Do you like me better than your husband? Yeah. Who do you like more, (laughs) me or your husband? You're not even going to, like, try to trick her into answering it correctly? I don't have to. (laughs) Justin, you gotta word it properly. If there was someone you could pick that's not your husband, that's your favorite. Let's say he's out of the equation. No, I know how he's doing this exact wording. Because if you word it like this and she says yes, 
it's the most painful possible way to do it. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> does she choose? Try out, do you like me more than Kyle? Yeah. Does she choose violence? Yeah. Carl, you, you good with her today? Is, is she, uh... I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So, yeah. Uh, Shelly Duvall, very unfortunate. The, the third one, the trifecta for this week, Dr. Ruth Westheimer. I feel it's very important to bring up the fact that 96 years old, Dr. Ruth passed away. Because if someone tiny and uncomfortable like that can talk about sex freely i think it helped the world a lot she responded it's a fair answer uh she goes depends on the day uh, <laughs> political there well anyway, megan, megan loves me the most Maybe you should follow it up with if it's the middle of the night and i'm trying to break into your house do you like me more than kyle <laughs> Because that's the context of the question. Actually, what I would say is, I would be honest and be like, if I texted you in the middle of the night to let me into your house so I could put my balls on your husband's forehead because he's being a dick, will you let me? And then you know what you would probably say. You know what you would probably if it was the middle of the night. You know what you'd probably say. Don't wake up the kids. No, no, no. She would probably say no because there's like a ninety-eight percent chance he's sleeping next to Sadie, and I don't want your balls a foot away from my daughter's head. It's fair. Um. Hi, Emery. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? You know how you're always supposed to make the next generation better than the one before? We're, we're. How are we doing that? <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, we are, just not in the ways we're supposed to. Okay. We're tough enough. In all the ways that don't actually matter. Don't worry. Our kids will be well prepared for the apocalypse. <laughs> Because we're totally going to fuck this whole thing up come November. It's fine. No, I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving and like every, every other Thanksgiving. What do you mean? Okay, let's give those three lost souls their moment of silence. Move along then. Some casting. Uh, you have casting. A bit of casting. Rumory casting. Lots of rumory casting. One, nice, I got reverse. one actual uh, casting that has happened. Guy named uh, Byron Bowers. He was on that show, The Chai, or The Chi, or The Chi, based in Chicago. Chai? Maybe. Uh, is going to be in Wonder Man. Whenever cool. Marvel decides to do that. Dude, I was so upset when I saw that show. I knew nothing about it, but I read it like you just did The Chi. I'm like, how oh, is he that his leg in martial arts, cool? <laughs> And then I'm like, it's like, oh, centered in Chicago, inner city. I'm like, I could give two fucking shits. <laughs> Just punch each other with soul hits. No? That's not what, no? What do you mean they don't have the glow? No yeah, energy they, they don't power up? They're not over 9,000? I'm done. I'm out. Weak sauce. That's the confirmed one. Uh, rumor floating around, Kumail Nanjani might be cast as Booster Gold. Uh, saw that. I heard him or Anthony Starr. Yeah, he was a new one that popped up, but he said he's not doing superhero shit anymore. Yeah, I can understand that. He's also. I, mean, I kind of uh, like to see Anthony Starr do it. It'd be a very different role from Homelander. Not too far. Not too far off. No, it's pretty different. It's very likable. He, he, he might be a little irresponsible, but he's likable. Well, to a certain group of people, Homelander is also very likable. Oh. How physically imposing should that character be? Not very. He's not. Yeah. The technology so, like, so like Chris Pine could do it. Well, Chris yeah. Pine could not get Pine would be mm-hmm. fucking great. Yeah. I don't think they'd do that, though. I think no. Chris Pratt's probably got a lock. <laughs> you know, do that when he's we, were, we were vibing tonight. I was really hoping we could have yeah. joined forces and taken down your arch nemesis, Joe. But now... Now I'm gonna make sure you burn, dude. What? I, I, Chris Pratt's. I love Chris Pratt movies. You don't like Chris Pratt movies? You know I hate fucking Chris Pratt Wait. and everything. I, I what? know nothing. What? But how are you gonna make sure he burned? Yeah, you, you'll see. Don't worry. I don't Listen, that means. I know. The the first, a very sunny day. Yeah. The first step to wisdom is admitting you know nothing. Therefore, I know nothing. We know. 
You're so yeah. cool. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. From the heart. So, with that, grow up, be an adult, like Chris Pratt. Uh, Play one. I used to like him. And then he appeared in everything. And then I got tired of him. I Chris Pratt bores me. He's only... Yeah, but he's, he's, he, he's only fucking Chris Pratt is the problem. And it's fine when Chris Pratt is only Chris Pratt when he's like two different roles. But when he's six different roles, and and some of them are super iconic, like uh, Mario and uh, fucking Garfield, all I hear Everyone does it. is fucking Chris Pratt. Yeah, that's well, the, well, that's the problem too. Stop hiring big name stars to voice characters in fucking cartoon movies. There's an entire industry of, of exquisite voice actors out there that could use the fucking yeah. money and the... And their name being put up in the big lights. So well, Pedro also, Pascal's kind of going through it right now, like he's in everything. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm starting to get Pedro fatigue. We'll see what he yeah. does with Mister Fantastic. But thankfully, one of those roles, his face is covered like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. really fucking good in the unbearable weight of massive talent. Dude, so, he was so so fun. Justin, he makes the movie. Yeah, you've got to see. You just got yeah, to again. He's not. He's not a bad actor. Like I, I like Pedro Pascal. I even enjoyed him in fucking One Woman eighty four. And there's not much to enjoy in that movie. It was him. He was <laughs> the thing to enjoy. Yes. Uh, last bit of casting I have is someone who we know is in a movie, and we've actually seen them in action this week. We're going to talk about him in the trailer section. But it might have been revealed who Giancarlo Esposito's character is, and if it's true, it's fucking silly. To me, because I'm maybe one of two people in this conversation right now who knows who G.W. Bridge is. Yeah. Yeah. Character named George Washington Bridge. I'll give you three opportunities to figure out who created George Washington Bridge. Um, a veteran. Uh, technically, at this point. Wasn't yeah. a veteran when he was creating him. Someone probably likes Pockets. Someone who really likes pockets. Kyle's huh. Kyle's getting warmer. Liefeld. Yeah, there you go. You had them all set up for you there, Joe. This is uh this is Rob Liefeld's Nick Fury, essentially. He had he was no different. <laughs> he was like, I wanna make a Nick Fury, but I'm gonna make him black. And then the Ultimate Universe came around. His so, arms are huge. Like he is so disproportionate to this one picture I told us. All of his characters yeah. are. Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah. As like, and you know Liefeld. As like triple E Captain America. Yeah, dude, his legs are the so, like, triple the size of my body. Here's here's two things about that. One is I've also heard that thrown around, and that he is now heading a new shield. That that's who those soldiers are. That would make sense if it's that character, because right. he really is supposed to be a law and order kind of guy. Yeah, that you could easily see portraying a less than law and order guy initially, and that he's supposed to be the opposite of. Julia Louis Dreyfus's Thunderbolts shit. Oh, Val? Yeah. Contessa. Yeah. Right. So he is he is the rebirth of Shield in the MCU. The other thing I heard though was from him, and he said nobody has guessed who the fuck his character is correctly. Mm. Yeah, I saw that a couple of days ago, and then I saw the GW Bridge thing. So I was thinking maybe someone finally pulled it out. I would be happy if no one has guessed it correctly and, and we're going to get something else. If, Santa Claus. If they're correct that this version of Bridge is leading a new shield, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How pissed first. would you be if he's like Cyclops? <laughs> I wouldn't be pissed at all. Nobody has guessed that. I would be furious. What? You know what I'm saying? Santa Claus, Gambit. What if he's Gambit? If he go, if he just has his, oh, yeah, I'm John Carlos Bino, chef. I mean, he's he's very gun heavy. He's impersonation. So, yeah, he's a bit too gun heavy to be characters yeah. like that. If he's Cyclops, I would hope he's using his fucking eye, his eyes instead of guns. Uh, we're in the multiverse, right? He could be whoever the fuck. I don't. I don't care. The, all I know is when we get to it, I have opinions of the trailer. Yeah. Well, uh, that's two trailers from now. Yeah. Got the first one out of the way. The only other one uh, we shared this week, you just dropped in the feed right before the show started. Monster Summer, 
looks like a dash of uh, a dash of Goonies, a dash of Stranger Things, which is pretty redundant, I know. Yeah. Exactly. That kind of, yeah, that kind of vibe. And Mel Gibson. Yeah, with racism. Yeah, when they said monster, uh, I saw the movie title was Monster Summer, and the 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 screen grab was his face, and I was like, "Ooh, a biopic." Um, I'm uh, I think I'm out on Mel Gibson. Yeah, I've been for a while. That I told you guys about that one fucking movie, that piece of shit. Um. I don't know. It just looks like we've seen it. And I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's he's getting a lot of uh, good writing around him. Do you wonder why? No. But Where's... Well, he, he's doing Lethal Weapon 5. Please tell me that's not happening. Please no, tell it's... me you're not going forward with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know how it's gonna start. They're they're Murtaugh's gonna fall no. out of his chair, and be like my hip. I'm not too old for this shit. Uh, Holy shit! There's a picture of the two of them in a squad car. Yeah. yeah. Dude, four was okay. I liked four. four was I didn't four. hate it, but like when you can compare it to the other three, nah. It's my introduction to Jet Li, so. It wasn't all bad. I didn't yeah. think that any of them were really bad. No, they were, they were all fun for what they were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what else Lethal Weapon 4 was? 26 years ago. <laughs> well, yeah, what is it? Uh, I just read something. Uh... Fuck, where is it? Well, they were like, if it worked for Eddie. It, re- it really is the sentiment. Someone, some executive at some table was like, oh, Eddie Murphy was able to come. And... and well, why aren't we making money yeah. off of our thing? So, well, actually, um, if anybody's to blame, it's the fucking Ghostbusters. Danny Glover will be Man. is will be over seventy five, and Mel Gibson will be over sixty five. If this still, were to start, okay, if this were to start, still younger than our current presidential candidates. So Glover is seventy seven right now, <laughs> and Gibson is sixty seven. It has to be more of a detective war movie. They can't have Mel Gibson karate chopping dudes. It's got to be a handoff thing. It's got to be like... Oh, uh, no. Like, yeah, it's going to be Murtaugh's <laughs> son. Uh-huh. It's 20 fucking... It's 26 years later. Murtaugh's son... Chris and, Pratt. It's Murtaugh. And, yeah, it's Chris Pratt. It's and, Chris Pratt's taking over Chris Rock's role. It's got to be Rock's his grandson. Yeah. Chris Rock's son. Yeah, it's going to be the grandson of Murtaugh. And they're going to have to be like... They're going to show up three times like the fucking classic, like the OG Ghostbusters, and be like, oh, I guess we got to save the day. And, I didn't think this shit was used to be Told that heavy. Told you he was getting too old for this shit. Yeah. You know what? You know what? They're going to spin it. The line's going to be, you kids are too young for this shit. Sure. Mm-hmm. I think that's supposed to be like the tagline for the movie. It's like, Lethal Weapon 5, too old for this shit. <laughs> no, Lethal Weapon 5, is this shit too old? Yes, it's something like that. Brought to you by AARP. I yes. hope it's not a torch passing thing. I hope it's, it's, it's absolutely going to like, be solve a crime. Solve a crime. No, no. they're going to get a reverse mortgage on this movie. That's what's going on. Yeah. So IMDb's got a post, like a picture that says they're back, but this time it's serious for the ultimate sacrifice. That's that's fan art. <sighs> they just he just announced this back in in June. There's there's no anything yet. He's coming. He's going to direct and star in it, and they're doing it as a tribute to Donner. I just, I just read the article. Yeah, so, it's at that trivia. Yeah. Did they get Pesci, Chris Rock, and the whole gang back? Sure. None of them are doing anything of importance. Well, Pesci doesn't do shit. He won't do shit. We're on sport. What? Chris Rock. We be filming grown ups for. <laughs> Well, Chris Rock, I just feel like he's just like, I'm not, I don't feel like it. I feel like he has that luxury of being like, nah. No, not after that Saw movie. Chris Rock? Yeah, mm. spiral shit the, bre- the shit the bed. Yeah, he really? might play nice. Yeah. I'm pretty, and that's owned by Warner Brothers. They might be like, hey man. You fucking owe us one. We gave that Jigsaw movie. 
didn't work out. You're going to have to come play cop again for a couple weeks. Jeez, yeah, I mean, maybe a cameo role. I just can't see him being, like, in it. I can't see any of them being in it, but they're making it. Like, with the state of Hollywood, I, I get it. They have nothing. Nothing new. Well, the, the, the biggest problem Hollywood's facing is <clears throat> they're making these movies too big budgeted and not enough people are seeing them in theaters. Everybody waits to see it at home. Well, it's like big budget, but like you ask yourself where the money's going because the CGI is never that great. The writing sucks and the acting's always okay. A lot of it goes down to the a huge chunk of it go to the cast. Yeah. Yeah. People cost too much money. That's yeah. but it's not that people aren't willing to go out to the theater. Fucking Inside Out Two is like one point three billion, one point four billion now. If it's worthwhile, they'll go. Or if it's something small that didn't cost much, right. it'll get its money back because enough people will go. Like there's no middle ground anymore. Deadpool and Wolverine absolutely is breaking a billion. Mm-hmm. Oh, totally. It's not even a fucking question. Uh, it's just how quick. How quick yeah. does it break a billion? Well, it's got everything people want: nostalgia, cameo, just porn, and one it's point. Probably going to be funny. So, U.S. and Canada is five hundred seventy-four mil. Worldwide is one point three. So one point eight. Yeah. Yeah, almost fucking two billion dollars. Yeah. So it's there on a two hundred million dollar budget. Yeah. So it, for what Deadpool? No. no uh, inside, inside Out Two. I was gonna say, was that pre-sale? Yeah. Well, inside Out Two is on like its second week now. Second or third? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's like 16th. third week. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it came out June sixteenth. It's oh, going on it's a, month. a month. It's going on a month. Yeah. So Deadpool's budget was. It's the biggest Deadpool budget yet. I think it's quite a bit more than the other ones. But I really don't think they have to worry. It doesn't about matter. That. It, do- it doesn't matter. They're printing they fucking never money. Posted. They're printing money with that one. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a guarantee. Yeah, Two, they, it's too early for it to be posted on IMDb. Two hundred. You're saying two hundred million to make that Two, thing? Uh, two, 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 two. There's two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, I don't think they. Nah, that seems insane. It's they wouldn't spend two hundred fifty million. That that would be like. Five times the budget of the last one. Yeah, but think mm-hmm. about the amount of fucking cameos that are in this thing. Shit, we don't even know about. Oh yeah. I, I refuse to watch all the spoilers. They said like, and if I guess, and if De- if Lady Deadpool is who I think it is, she costs money. Oh, I don't think it's his wife. That she's still gonna cost money. Oh yeah, yeah, she's gonna cost money, but. If it's who you think it is, she will cost a lot of money. Taylor Swift. Uh, I th- uh, I think it's Blake, but yeah, uh, I it's, hope it's, it's not. It is not past me that they pulled Taylor Swift to do it. She is friends yeah. with them oh. and with the fucking director. She's not the demo. Doesn't, dude. It doesn't matter. The moment Swifties find out she's in a movie with fucking Ryan Reynolds, they already yeah, love him because too. they're fucking friends. Uh-huh. It doubles the amount of fucking money it was going to make. Who are Swifties? Like chicks under like 15 and under? No, like, it's, I don't not even, it's not even just 15 and under. I know a 35 year old Swiftie. Yeah. That, it's just her movie. Her, in- her fan base, legit, her fan base will be what turns the tide of this fucking upcoming election. Uh huh. Yeah. That, that is insane. I don't know if that's still a thing anymore, man. It. it it's like a, two months ago. I would have wholeheartedly agreed with you. Well, yeah, given what happened this past weekend and that whole fucking thing, who knows? But she's powerful. Yeah. You make all the faces you want, Vinny. It's not even a fucking question. Powerful? Yeah. Yeah. She farts into a microphone and sings breakup songs. Doesn't matter. The amount of people that fucking love her for that and will do anything for her. Yeah, make all the faces you want, but it's it's. The I fucking, know that's crazy. It's the yeah, truth. yeah, but so is a bunch of people who love a, a fucking orange skinned idiot. Yeah, no, no, no. I, yeah, they're definitely incredible, <laughs> like, but it, it's a, it's just like I don't know. Be a be a person. They they are people, but people tend mm-hmm. to flock to other people. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. And and worship them. I'll, These are the same people that wouldn't square up with an alien. Maybe not. No, nope. fuck it, cowards. Unless they were told to. Yeah, unless, unless yeah, take unless they were told to. Follow her. But yeah, she yeah, she's fight. gonna cost the fucking pretty penny if it's her. Her her net worth as of twenty twenty four is one point three billion dollars. Fucking ridiculous. Billion. Singing breakup songs from like ten years ago. Awesome. You know what? No, uh, you know what's ridiculous? Fucking Kylie Jenner's a billionaire. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but she married. She she that family was born in money. Like she's a personally, yeah. But, but that's a bigger problem. She's personally a billionaire just by oh. doing nothing. At least yeah, but Taylor the, Swift goes out there and performs. She she she, right she, songs she earned that shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She invested a lot of money into her looks, and then she made a makeup company or something. She writes her own song. She actually plays her own instruments. Yeah. You know, I give her that credit. Yeah. Taylor Swift plays her own instruments, acoustic yes. guitar. Mm-hmm. And piano. Dude, yeah. Playing the guitar is not easy. <laughs> no, I know it's not easy. <laughs> Singing and playing the guitar is insane. Singing and playing the piano yeah. is insane. No, the whole the whole concept is insane. Like, singing in front of, like, thousands of people at a oh. fucking megadome yeah. but is like, insane. Again, she earned that. She built mm-hmm. herself up. Uh, the Jenner children are born into that that fucking wealth. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the same they're, thing. They're like, born into psychosis. The mother had to, like, she, like, plotted to release the sex tape with Ray J, with Kim. I don't, it doesn't matter what kind of fucking conspiracy Ugh. you want to attach to it. The family comes from money. They were born into money. It's the same thing with the Hiltons. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, they were, like, born into different money. They have like hotels and shit. It's all the money. Kardashians, they have the dad's lawyer money. Doesn't matter. And then the mom's like, it's all listen. money. It's it's listen. It's rich people. The kids were born into money. Yeah. Money. I res- I respect her for everything she's done. I I preferred her her earlier music, but hey, that's just me. So we still have another trailer to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Trailer up. Uh, Captain America: Brave New World. Ooh. Yeah. Very interesting. Get uh, Z- Isaiah as a bit of a Manchurian candidate situation. Yeah, I wonder what of... I wonder what his winter soldier password is. Yeah. <laughs> uh gives a lot of flashes of other stuff. See some Giancarlo Esposito shooting. Uh other people being spyish. But the real well, the real most important thing of the whole trailer, I'd say, is the last millisecond. Yeah, but we knew it was happening. It's the it's I, Hollywood's worst kept fucking secret, dude. Yeah, yeah. I assumed that's why I figured they'd hold it off. They wouldn't just drop I, it in the trailer. You know what? I respect the way they did it, just to be like, yeah, here you already knew, and that's it. I, as far as the movie itself goes, this looks fucking great. Should be a lot more Winter Soldier than yeah. anything else. Yeah, in a long time. Like I'm, I'm really happy with this. I was like, ooh, ooh, this is this is the Marvel I want to see. This is the first Marvel thing since the Eternals to actually reference the giant celestial that's coming out of the fucking. Yeah, earth. yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, they're touching on that. Good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although there was a a news clip on the side of a page in Miss Marvel, I believe that there's a nanosecond you can see it there. I believe they're actually going to be going to Tima mm-hmm. Island. Wow. Yeah. So they're wrapping up that dangling plot line as well as a dangling plot line from the second movie in the whole series. Yeah. They're really cleaning up shit with this movie. Yeah. Uh, this this is much appreciated as a fan of these movies. Anthony Mackie looks great. Oh, the suit, the new suit looks great. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer that it's him and his sidekick both have the exact same ability set. Yeah. I hope they create some diff- way to differentiate the outfits. Well, obviously, the Falcon outfit's not going to be vibranium. It's not going to be able to wreck as much shop as the Captain America outfit. Yeah. But it's just like visually, they're they're going to look the exact same. They're, but I guess they could like they could use this moment to play off of his old relationship, like the in the Winter Soldier. I think you're going to see a lot less of him with the wings out. Probably. 
<laughs> You're muted, so I can't hear you. Did Joe just text you? She did. She says, "Yeah, I would." I, one- think, I think I think I think I have a new thing I got to bring up in counseling next week. I would one hundred percent let you in the house to put your nuts on his face. <laughs> just, just unbelievable, you know. When you think you've met the right one, and all of a sudden it's just not the right one. It's just the one that's going to let your cousin in the house and put his nuts in your face. It's just, you know, it shakes your whole world to the ground. I got trust issues, Doc. You know why I got trust issues? She wants balls on my face. Well, sometimes Kyle can be an ornery little bitch, and he could use a set of balls in the face. Oh, it's fucking true. It's true. I don't think it's true. Kyle, I think you're a sweetheart. Thank you. Well, I only ask you this question. Do you think I don't know which one Joe's nodding for? I'm nodding to you. (laughs) You think you get to me or to Vinny or to Justin? I I agree. I agree with Vinny. Oh Oh, oh, shit! (laughs) Clip it. Clip it. He didn't want to say it out loud because he was agreeing no. with you. But what were you going to say? It did take you forever. Uh, would you think it would make him any more ornery if you put balls on his face? Uh, I mean, maybe, probably. I, you know what? Balls? I don't, I, don't, I don't want to test this theory out. Balls on your forehead or a wet willy? I was just going to say, I feel like I might be more angry about balls on my face. Really? But I don't want to test that theory out. <laughs> a bit. I don't want to say I'd definitely be more mad because you it's like hard to get me madder than I like, am when I get wet willy. You're like bull in a fucking arena de Mexico when you get the fucking wet willy. Like you're you're yeah, enraged. So I think if you were sleeping, if you were sleeping and just like just felt something similar to like you know the the back of someone's hand on your forehead, cause my my nuts are shaved. They're not hairy. Like it's not going to feel like a caterpillar on your forehead. I'm just saying it's it's not it's not like a wet finger going in your ear canal. Not as wet because it can't be completely dry. My balls are pretty yeah. dry. I don't want to test this theory out. I'm just I'm just saying I'm pretty confident I'd be more mad. I don't have consistently balls. sweaty balls. That's weird. You'll be more mad. Also, you're medulla, also I use ball deodorant, so it'll be at least nice smelling. Ball deodorant. It's not yeah. gonna be smelling. Is it thing? Okay. Yeah, it's a thing. I'm, gonna be, I'm not concerned that you shouldn't the use or the texture. They're not made with alu- It's not made with aluminum, so uh-huh. or parabens. Doesn't matter. It does. Uh, your natural odor. It's the a brand of odor and it smells. Listen, I don't want. Uh, I don't want. You know, swelly, nut- smelly nutsack. Yeah, I do. Fresh. And I'm sure for the people in your life that you put it on their face, they really thank you for that. They do. They appreciate the... The good news for me is that I will never be in that situation, so I will never have to thank you for that. <laughs> I will thank you to keep your nuts <laughs> a good distance away from me. It's right there on the counter. But yeah, Captain America 4 looks great. <laughs> it does look great. Yeah. It doesn't look like total shit. I wonder how they're going to fuck it up for me. Ray of sunlight. There he is, folks. Thanks, Beth. Uh, I got a quick hands-on review that talked about it a couple months ago during Sony's State of Play. This game called Concord. They put a beta out for it. It's pretty fun. It's a lot like Overwatch. Plays nicely. Uh, apparently, every week there's going to be a new cutscene to move the story along. If so, this thing's got a good chance because the one cutscene they opened the beta with was very touching, well written, really well animated, and the story seemed pretty uh, interesting too. In this universe, only this one guild had control of a map that let you travel. And apparently some crew of some ship stole it and just put it out there for the world. And now a bunch of bounties, like a a bounty system has popped up. And that's what you and your friends do, you and your team. The way they set it up in the beginning was very, uh, very harsh felt. A lot of gravitas. And it plays pretty nicely, too. Uh... Joe, you have some other reviews before we get to the, the boys? I do. I, I, do. Uh, I also have a video game review. I finally played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Oh, that's a fun game. That game is awesome. That totally brought me back to the old school arcade game. Like It's, it's that perfect combination of the arcade and Turtles in Time. It just, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. 
Is it the one I got? Yeah, it's the one we played. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Where'd you get it on? Uh, PC. Okay, wow. Yeah. Nerd. Yeah, yeah, me, me nerd. Um, You're a PC gamer, huh? Yeah, yep, I, I don't even, I don't have my PlayStation anymore. I just have, just my PC. And then I downloaded today the, what I hear is probably the worst Batman game ever in Suicide Squad Kills Justice League. So I'll have a review on that next week. As it should be, because it's not a Batman game. No, it's, but... Nope. It's barely a DC nope. game. Not a Batman yeah. game. It's about Suicide Squad. Yeah. Uh, before we get into the boys, I guess uh, I have some other reviews. I listened to the entire Death of Slim Shady Me too. album. I gotta say, it's pretty good. Yeah. He's... He, uh... He is, uh, he's a master of his craft. It, 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 he hit you from all fronts, too. That ending was, those, the, the, the end part was very, like, yeah. that, was, that was Marshall. He, uh, he has some fun with it. He gets serious with it. Mm-hmm. Recommend. And Shady's not dead. No. Shady will be no. around. It's a nice Ken Kniff bit in there. Oh, he brought that shit back. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, watched the movie If the other night. And, uh, it was really fucking emotional. Remember when the trailers dropped, you didn't have high hopes for it? No, I didn't. I, I was mad because it was pretty much a Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends ripoff. Uh, which it's, it's not far off. However... If the first five minutes of Up gets you, the entire hour and 50-something minutes of If is going to tear you apart. So it kind of quadruples down? It doesn't stop. Like, there's fun bits in it, for sure. But even the fun bits have so much fucking emotion to them. And just like, as an older person now... I'm just like, wow, this is killing me on so many levels. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Thanks, Ryan Reynolds. You should actually be thanking Krasinski. Yeah, fuck him Broke too. And directed. Fun voice cameos uh, as we went over all the people in that fucking movie on a previous show. Good stuff. Uh, Vinny. Did you watch the latest House of Dragon? No, you're muted. muted. Yes, I watched Casa de Drago. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I realize what I don't like about Renera. She's... The, the, the younger chick and this chick are not even close to the same cadence or anything. And I like the younger one better. Yeah, the younger one was way better. This one's like... The younger one was like elegant in a way that you believe she was a princess queen. But this also... This one is like... Also a badass, though. Yeah, and but this one is like... She just was like transported here and like, alright, now you're playing princess queen. And she doesn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. Because yeah. like the most recent episode, she she complained about... And then like acted like it was someone else's fault when she's like, oh, they're talking about they're talking about war and shit around the table just right past me, like, I'm not even here. And she's like, it's not my fault. I, I was just t- brought up on, like, knowing all the houses and this and that. And I'm like, all right, so you're out of your lane. Just put your then fucking shut foot up. Put your foot down. Either, yeah, either A, put your foot down, or let the people, let the generals, like the military people, talk about the military. No, just be like, listen, I'm the fucking queen. Sit the fuck down and shut up. Or learn. Learn from them. Because guess what? You've, ne- you've never been in battle, and I guess these old dudes, they were closer to battle than you ever will be. Sure. Listen to them. But she's just like, I don't want to war. Claim the throne. That's war. 
You already did it. So, uh, no one is likable. I, I like. I'm I say to like Heyman though. Every week, no. See, that's that's just it. I fucking hate him too. I I want. I was like, just fuck off and die, dude. Wait, Aegon or Eamon? Which one's the one that got? Oh no, no. Up? I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you said Damon. No. Oh yeah, Damon. Dude, fuck him. You you call me prude, but what is the point of him eating pussy? Oh, no. well, the, the, the whole the whole thing was he was eating his mother's pussy. Right. Okay. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is but like, after all. Yeah. But like, it was like Skinamax softcore porn. Yeah, but that was the whole thing. You don't need was, to show it. The whole thing was it was it was his mother and for whatever fucking reason they were trying to make it didn't even I'll, I'll none of it made sense even it being his mom being there with him like just it. No sense whatsoever to any of it. No, it's stupid. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I agree with you on that one. Uh, so stupid. No, I Christian hate Cole. I'm kind of coming around no. on him, Fuck even though he's I still can't. a piece of shit too. How? How are you? Because he's just, he just got cucked out. Because well, he also cucked the queen out. Yeah, but only because he's now afraid of her fucking son. No, I I think he put his son in. I think he helped a. Eamon, I think he helped Eamon get no. into power pretty much. No. No. You saw on the episode where the other one falls out the fucking sky and he's like, fuck. This is not... But he realizes that Eamon is a fucking psychopath and will absolutely turn on him. And because he's a little cuck bitch, he's gonna, he's gonna be like, oh, I helped you get in, right? <laughs> Don't think you're wrong. However, he was also plotting with Eamon on the side. So him and yeah. Eamon are boys. I know they were plotting together, but the thing is, I don't think he realized how fucked up he was until he torched his own brother. Yeah, I, I guess I kind of missed that, because, like, Allison knows he's he's fucked up, but, like... Yeah, but Cole's, we're, Cole's fucking Other than him stupid. getting his eye fucked up and, like, him being that little dickhead that one day, like, where were the signs? Because he, like, he just kind of sits there and does blue steel a lot. I, there was there's a few times previously. It was ever since he got his fucking eye cut that he's just like, I want someone's fucking eye. He's been a little fucking weirdo. True. Yeah. Well, I I think he really he was on the fence of being a super psycho, but once his dragon fucked that kid up, he's like leaning into it. Yeah. Oh, what's up, brother? You're gonna go fire your dragon, dummy. And he was waiting ever since the fucking brothel. He's been waiting for a chance to fuck his brother up. Yeah, I mean, no one, no one liked Aegon. No, he's a little cunt. He's a fucking cunt wreck. But yeah, oh, that, that, uh, we were micro saying like th- this is just the fall of, of the nation. Like this is just what fucked the whole family up. These fucking people. And you're seeing it firsthand because even the queen, she's an asshole too. Oh yeah, uh, oh. Allison. Oh god, yeah. She pretty much gave gave uh, Kristen. This is why I like Kristen Cole. She's like, pretty much like, I'm your girlfriend. You know, you should pick me. And he's like, he's the next in line for the throne, so it's just proper. And she's like, really? Well, I was fine uh, a couple months ago when my husband was dying and I was taken over and he's like... She made a valid point. She made a valid point, but also, Kristen Cole's just like... Because he got cucked out. He didn't get cucked out. He did. He got... No. He doesn't want to be on on Eamon's fucking bad side. He doesn't... He's seen what happened. He almost murdered... Possibly murdered his brother. He's still alive, technically. I, I don't think you're necessarily wrong. However, he's also a military conquest, and Eamon listens to him in terms of his conquest because they had the whole plan set up. They won that battle because of Kristen Cole and Eamon. Because their plan probably would have worked with little less King dying. Yeah, it was supposed to go off without a hitch, and then dumb King shows up, and he's like, ooh. And he gets yeah. fucked up, and then Eamon's like, well, I'm going to kill both my enemy and my brother at the same time because fuck everybody. I think Cole wants to win the war. And he just believes Eamon's probably the best bet to do it. Plus, he's the second. I, 
And again, I think Allison's just being a little fucking, well, he's supposed to pick me. That, that's where I was like, all right, Allison, take a seat. I, I've, I've hated her since she she turned to. I thought, I thought her and Rhaenyra were going to be best buddies, lovers, and like run away. I was like, oh, that's what I'm expecting. And then she's like, no, I'm going to fuck her dad. Because my dad made me fuck her dad. Yeah. Well, like, I'll tell you what, though. Her dad probably pitched the best pitch you could pitch to someone in terms of, like, listen, you're going to fuck somebody. They're going to give you kids. They're probably going to die. That's just how this works in this realm. You have a chance to be queen of the realm and have royal kids that will be future kings. Think about this before you make your decision. She's like, well, Dad, I'm only 12 years old. I don't know. And he's like, grow the fuck up. Be an adult. Suck his dick. Let him eat Jack inside you and give you babies. What's the problem? Her dad was an asshole too, though. Oh, my God. He was not even an asshole. He's just, like, just super conditioned to that, like, what you're supposed to do, what's expected of you, what you're supposed to do, and, like, just the no, because of the whole... he was grabbing for power. For sure. He's like, I might not have this seat forever, but if you fuck the king, that keeps us in power for much longer. Yeah, he pretty much was like, I'm the unofficial king, pretty much, if you fuck the king. Like, he, that's total power. Yeah. Whatever, fuck him. He'll be back. Oh, well, he's absolutely going to be back. Yeah. Um, what else have an episode? I like a uh, chick with the weird accent that I can't tell what it is. Renera's buddy? Yeah. I don't understand... She just, like, hangs out in that room, and Renera's like, she used to be, like, I guess this lady used to be, like, a whore, and she kind of got money or something, and then she got released or something. I, I honestly really know that lady's story. I, it, she, I do know uh, she used to be, like, a, she used to bang high societies. She, uh, she reminds me a lot of, uh... Darian's bitch? No. The, the... The bald dude. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm. Donald Pleasance. Kyle, what was his name? He ended up being with Daenerys. Oh, Viserys. Yeah. Wait, what? This chick. The The eunuch. The eunuch. Oh. Uh, She reminds me a lot of him. Oh, Varys. Varys. Yeah. Varys. The Sarah's was the dead. Yeah. Um, I I don't understand the. I must have like spaced that would not have. I don't understand where she became prominent to where Renair is like, yas bitch, stay in my fucking suite. Because she was honest with him. Uh, just like one of the only fucking people on the show that's just like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're not gonna fucking like it. Uh, so she's uh, she's Sister Sage, pretty much. Sweet. Minus the whole lobotomizing shit. Yeah, but that's a good transition because uh, I'm I'm done with this week's episode of House. So yeah. let's move on to the boys. Please do. Uh, Joe, before we get to you, Mike, I watched the latest episode. Mm-hmm. Some sh- there's some shit. Do you want me to go? Wait, I'm gonna take the headphones off. Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep it vague. I'm just gonna say I'm amazed they were able to set up so much stuff in one episode, make so many important moments happen. Yeah. In one episode, and not make it feel rushed. That everything was so built up and just ready to be pushed over. Uh. Huh. Is this the last episode before the season finale? Yeah. Okay. 
Dude, the deep is so funny. <laughs> I love the deep. Dude, his scene in the closet this week. <laughs> Fuck. Every time a fucking octopus shows up on the show, I know something disturbing is going to happen, and I have no idea what kind of disturbing it's going to be. Because that was fucking dark. <laughs> yes. Bro, when he goes, first of all, your accent, insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I fucking lost. I, I had to pause it. Did he just fucking talk? That whole bit got me. And then Ashley's like, why don't they just... I was like, because they don't know how. Because only only other soups can off soups. Well, no, they figured out wait, but it's like it's particular to each one. Like, look how much effort they had to put in to kill transparent. They yes, blow them up. Yeah, yeah. from the inside. Yeah. It took a yeah. lot of time and planning. So they probably just had to salt the deep. Probably. It was salt guns. Fucking brain gills. gills. Do the classic Namor thing where you dehydrate him. He'll probably yeah. lose all his powers. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, that shit though. Poor Huey. Uh, cannot. Well, Huey, Huey's the uh, he's the soup slayer. Huey cannot catch a fucking break. Uh, mm-hmm. Dude, as soon as she came into the room, I should have realized there was something. I already, I already fucking knew. Ashley picked it up from the moment they start their conversation. And she's not in the room. Ashley yeah. was like, "Oh." Nope. Yeah. And then that the shit goes down, and you're just like, "Oh, poor Huey. Poor, poor fucking Huey." This one opened up. That's right. It opened up with the scene with Web Weaver. And dude, like, Homelander is really the most disturbing character ever. I've never seen them. I've seen this in comic books, and it's always disturbing when they do it in there. But he just fucking, he just does it, barely any effort, and it's it's so disturbing. And seeing Web Weaver basically shit his pants, except that it's webbing coming out of his ass yeah. throughout the entire scene. They know how to make disgusting layered on top of disgusting on this show in a way no one else does. Uh, the shit with Ryan was great. Yeah, they've spent an entire season teasing us which way he's going to turn. Yeah. And I think we pretty much know now, thanks to that bit. Yeah. Joe, yeah, you, good show. Joe, you're trailing a little bit uh, behind. You just watched a really important episode, though. Hi. Joe, Joe, you missed it. I said uh, you just watched a really important episode. Okay, so I just watched the... I have one more episode left of season three, so I just saw Soldier Boy say to uh, Homelander that he's dead. Yeah, you you saw Hero Gasm was what I was getting at. Yeah, that was a thing. You're that cruising, was, huh? Prehensile yeah. cock. Uh, there was there was that was they didn't pull back. No. I thought I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, this can't get any weirder. This can't. Nope. Nope. And there it goes. It got fucking weird. I still think my favorite bit in that whole episode is the dildo just floating through the air. <laughs> <laughs> and Starlight's looking at it because it's one of the Starlight ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, so I, after this, I'm going to start Gen V, and then I'll be on season four. And then by the time Gen V season two starts, I will be caught up. Gen V will probably go down quickly. Yeah, it that, does. I uh, I only watched like two episodes at first with that, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll I'll just take my time with it. Completely stalled, but then once I started up again, plowed through that shit. Yeah. Okay. But, I don't know, everybody's fucking all the acting in this is just insane. I can't say enough about like Carl Urban. My God, the, the I just watched the nightmare one where he was trapped in a nightmare and had to relive with his brother. Mm. Dude, that was some shit. Every time. So, so the opening sequence of Gen V, because I, I only made it about halfway through the first episode. I was watching the other day while Sadie was napping, and she started to like stir, and I didn't want her to wake up 
in the middle of that episode, so I stopped it. I haven't finished it. But the way that show starts sets the tone. I mean, I don't want to say it's that set. Well, no, it does. I might as well say this. It sets the tone for that show the same way Huey and A-Train set the tone for the boys. Okay. Yeah. It's, oh, it's fucking... But it's almost, in, in a lot of ways, it's worse. There is some shit on Gen V that is possibly worse than some of the shit you see in, in The Boys. Does that one, does it start with that girl Mary's power kicking in? Is it that yes. scene? Yes. Okay, yeah. So that's fucking... Yeah. The most... They, they love showing us the most traumatic moments <laughs> yeah. of our protagonists right up front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that might be. I think that might be worse than the Huey A Train thing. Yeah, because of her responsibility to yeah. it. At least Huey's a victim in the situation. Yeah. yeah. Thursday, I should be on Gen B. Okay. But there's damn. some <laughs> there's shit in season four of the boys. I can't wait for you to get to. You're gonna see like these random things in the feed, just going, "What the fuck?" <laughs> the deep's girlfriend. Dude, the the last time I saw the deep, he was trying to have a three way with him and his wife and the octopus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most disgusting, most disturbing show on TV. Yeah, and it's like, I just I just it's, it, it can't, every time I think I'm like, okay, it's just not going to get weirder, and then it happens. But take it from people who've already gotten there. Yeah, they manage to top themselves. Not just like gross out, but concept. They'd be like, "No, nah. oh, who thought of that? Why was that in your head ever?" Uh, after Ackles needs to be freaking live action Batman. Thank you. He okay. needs to be okay. Batman. Like James Gunn, cast him as fucking Batman. He would be perfect. Yes, yes, he would. Thank That's you. how he gets me back in. I- I'm I'm out on on the Gunverse. Bro. Like, Grow up, be an adult. No, I am growing up. Stop making it so vibrantly colored. Oh, oh superheroes can't have color. I forgot. No, oh. make cartoons cartoons. Make live action live action. It's a comic book. No one's going to walk around wearing pajamas with their cock. It's a comic bursting book. through their fucking underwear. It's a comic book. It's not a cartoon. Right. Com- comic books have color. I don't know if you've even known this. But... No, no, I know that. But you're bringing it into reality. No one's walking around in pajamas and pansy red booties. Why not? Because then they go to a mental institution. There's a dude that walked around Times Square in New York in his fucking tidy whiteies and white cowboy boots with an acoustic guitar. And you're going to tell me that it's not okay for someone to pretend to be a hero and wear fucking red underwear on the outside of blue Yeah, because that's not okay either. That guy belongs in fucking jail. Yeah, but he didn't go to jail. Yeah, because liberal cities like that like to let people just wear their cock out and do whatever the fuck they want. It's okay to do that. There's children. His cock is covered by the guitar. Yeah, it is covered. Okay. Vinny. Indecent exposure much? I, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Okay. I'm not playing these word games Vinny, with it's you okay. guys. It's okay. I've had it, I've had it up to here. <laughs> Vinny, watch out. There's somebody on the building. No, oh, too soon. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm out. I'm out. Too, too colorful. Joe, back me up. I enjoyed the Superman. I, I think I love the costume. Dude, I th- I have no gripes with anything. No, I think I've the costume's great. The Gunverse. I have no <clears throat> gripes. No, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be superhero-y. It's gonna be yeah. great. It's gonna be the complete opposite of all that fucking gray, Good. miserable. Good. And you know what? If they're gonna lean into it, lean into it. Every time someone gets punched in the face, I want to hear zoom, zop, smack. I want to see that flash across the screen. Might as well do that too. Might as well. Why? And if the chicks aren't busty, they don't have their tits and their ass cheeks popping out, not a real comic book movie, now is it? Because that's how they drew it. Not all of them. Most of them. Lois Lane wasn't busty and lusty. Yeah, because she was a respectable reporter. So don't say uh, that all comic book Power characters Girl? are like that. Power Girl had I the fucking... I knew he was going to go to Power Girl. I, automatically. I automatically. Always goes go to Power, Power Girl. Girl. We're not going to see Power Girl. We're yeah. going to see... God right. damn it, Joe. 
It yeah. doesn't matter if we're going to see her. She's got, it's about, gonna see, about the tits. But you're going to see Kara, and she wasn't, always depending the on the version. Right. Not Cara? super well endowed. Give me the good Kara. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, is that Renera? Yeah. yeah, that's the good Renera. Okay. Yeah. I would like her to be in a respectful outfit. See? I respect her. Did you her. see the, um, her S? They released to what, uh, her, her S? Her S. Her S? Uh, it's a little different from Clark's. Hers is more defined. Good. It's one thing I don't really like about this new costume. Is Z. Um, somebody got a hold of one of the uh, Comic Con cups, and it would have was uh, promoting a woman of tomorrow. So we're probably gonna get something for that. Yeah. All right. Uh, one other, one other quick one. <clears throat> the acolyte. Eh, a little better. I have a feeling tonight's episode is going to be so epic. It's going to end on this massive cliffhanger, and we're never going to see yeah. it again. Oh, well, they're already trying to do. They're trying to Snyderverse this. They're trying to say people are calling for an Acolyte season two already. I mean, All it's, the comments are listen, like, who is? Who's calling for that? It doesn't matter that there's a vocal minority out there like us who are like, this show sucks. The numbers aren't going to lie. A lot of people fucking watch this show. People are hate watching it. Doesn't matter. Num- numbers are numbers. Do numbers don't lie. Yeah. No, because they don't even have to watch it to review hate it. Right. Yeah. People bomb yeah. these things. People yeah. bomb these things before episodes even come on. Yeah. It's it it's the right? actual it's the actual complete watch throughs that show up on on Disney's numbers. That's what counts, and it'll probably get a season two. Whatever. Disney. Yeah. Right uh, now has <clears throat> nor confirmed or denied. Another anything Manny Jacinto's in is actually a good one. Another That's quick it. review. I started watching the Suicide Squad Isekai, the anime where the Suicide Squad gets transported into another world. Uh yeah, it's better than the Acolyte. That's <laughs> not hard. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but like putting Suicide Squad in a anime world where there's like lizard men and like power ups and magic and dead shot <laughs> literally just like <laughs> it's one of the best things I've seen in a long time. Mike, you'd appreciate it because there's like this fucking orc king mm. and he's like sending all his like pig monsters to fight him and dead shot just fucking caps him square between the eyes. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's that. And then the fucking scene transitions to something else. <laughs> But uh, it, it's something. It's definitely something. Say that about a lot of things. But you know what you can't say that about? My list of news. I have nothing. I have no you don't have any stories. news at all? No news stories. Oh, I got shit. one. All right, Joe, you go first. I can get my stuff ready. So, coming soon to Comic-Con in San Diego, the first annual Intergalactic Friendship Day. Featuring Russell T. Davies and Alex Kurtzman bringing together Star Trek and Doctor Who. So, that should be really cool. Yep. That's the that's the entirety of Friendship that's, Day, is those two things? Um, so, they're both, they're both holding a panel together to talk about the futures of, right now, each franchise could there be a crossover there was one in the comics we don't know how did i know that was coming from you need a crossover no there won't be a crossover you know why because disney's gonna be like no (laughs) how does that benefit us oh it doesn't because it doesn't because we don't that's one of the few things we don't own Disney will be like, how about Star Wars instead? I know we just burst your bubble, Joe, but you, you gotta think about it like that, bud. It's not about the fans, it's about the fans' money. Well, well what? Still looking forward to it. I wish I could get my hands on the exclusive Enterprise B Hallmark ornament. <laughs> With, featuring the Nexus Damage. Why, is it already sold out? Uh, uh, is it con exclusive? 
It's a con exclusive. Oh, if you're going to the panel, you'll get one. That would be it. I'm expecting it very much news heavy for all of us in the next coming couple weeks. <laughs> in this lull right now. Uh, there's a Creed themed dispensary <laughs> coming uh, <laughs> into Wayne County, uh, Riverview, Michigan. Uh, and the name of the dispensary is higher. <laughs> Do you think every time you open the door, instead of going bing, it goes take me higher? It's a missed opportunity. Uh, speaking of San Diego Comic Con, Deadpool and Wolverine are going to have their own Hall H panel, separate from the Marvel panel. Because wow. that's how fucking big that movie is. When is that? One point seven billion. Calling it now. Yeah, when is Con? Next weekend? Next week? This uh, weekend? It's actually their panel's going to be on the day it premieres, the twenty fifth. So next week is next week is <clears throat> Comic Con? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty sixth. Holy crap so cool. Yeah. 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 And then uh, what, two weeks after that is D23. Yep. Did you see the patent that was filed? For what? Uh, a Moana boat ride. Yeah, they were talking about that. That makes sense. Beyond Thunder Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Does that not make Making sense? Making me the face of me. Yeah. Here's my. Oh, that's Facebook. Guess what? Red boxes what? are going away. No moss red box. I haven't noticed them. Like, have they been taking them away already? Because I haven't noticed any of them outside the places they usually are. I mean, I know, I, I know. For a while, they were, they were getting rid of kiosks some places still had them but uh 10 days after declaring chapter 11 bankruptcy the red box parent company has converted to chapter 7 liquidation did you know that red box was owned by chicken soup for the soul no yep yes i don't i don't understand that sentence because, like, do you, do you mean it's owned by the person who wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul? Or there's a company that is called Chicken Soup for the Soul that makes a series of books yes, and the, also owns... The latter. All right. Yeah. So it's not like there was a person who wrote it. This is, this is a, a committee-based shitty book about aphorisms. Book series. Yeah. Yeah. That so, so well. The company so was well. able to spin off. They, they bought Redbox for $375 million. Right, but Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment said that it, its losses in 2023 were over 600 million, up Ooh. from 111 million the year before. Redbox itself peaked with almost two billion in revenue in 2013, but has been declining since. Which is weird because you would have figured 2020 and 2021 should have been like, or 2019 to 21 should have been like banner fucking years, right? We read box the shit out of stuff during COVID. Should have done well. I guess all the other streaming stuff was enough to carry people over. Yeah, home video isn't, you know, just really, really, really phased out. Yeah. Men in Black 5 seemingly revealed to begin filming next year. According to a recent production listing, an untitled Men in Black sequel will begin filming as soon as January 2025. Although Sony has yet to officially announce Men in Black 5, franchise star Will Smith's MIB performance at Coachella only fueled fan speculation. Did you see the performance? No. Uh, actually, it was pretty good. Yeah, because I, I don't care about Coachella. 
why don't they remake it but make it like a serious movie and not get jiggy with it i mean I, the first one was the first one was rather serious it wasn't too goofy yeah. it's the i'll se- take the first two yeah the, the third one had a kind of serious ending I'm just saying, like, rebrand it. Make it like, um... They, they tried, tried that. that. Work. No, 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 not that bullshit. Like, I'm saying, other way. Kind of horror it? Yeah. Like, oh. don't ever show the men in black. Just show, like, their shoes, like, the, the back of their head and shit like that, and always have them kind of, like, in the background. Some, like, M. Night Shyamalan type thing. Well, then, that makes it so that you have to make the story about the aliens. Yeah. Because you can't make it about the people. They're going to forget shit instantly. And if you're not showing the men in black, there's only other one group of characters you could use, which I wouldn't be completely against, but it's a very different version than the comic. Yeah. In the comics, they were it, it set up where you do follow them, but they were a lot more boring. None of them were Will Smith. They were all yeah. a lot of Tommy Lee Joneses. I, I don't know how you could do it, but I, I could do it though the worms you know make it ser- just make it serious just see what you can do I can tell you what you get Chris Pratt he, he's the guy who owns a farm and he had an alien encounter right Michael Shannon is one of the men in black this is serious do you do you only have like three favorite actors about yeah it seems that way there's like tons of other actors. Yeah, there. yeah, but I want to make a good movie. So I do Chris Pratt, Michael Shannon. Oh, uh, Z is played by uh, Z is Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, no, he he's... he plays uh, the French grandfather. Fuck you. And he's the one. He's he's my guy because once they encounter the aliens at night for four hours, he's like, okay, <laughs> the kid, let's see what you got. And he, and he does. Starts doing he, does he does splits in roundhouses, and they're impressed, and they try to copy them, but they're yeah. incapacitated, and this way they're able to drag one of their bodies to the police station. Yep. Okay. So they go, how'd, how'd you catch it? And then Van Damme just does a couple quick kicks next to the sheriff's head. He's like, <laughs> "How do you think, dude? I just we just made a really good fucking movie. <laughs> we did it." <laughs> Uber offers premium for jobs in Lakewood area. An Uber driver shared a Reddit post displaying an incentive offered by the company to take rides in Lakewood and neighboring towns, including Jackson, Toms River, and Howell. The company has not provided an explanation for the bonus, but speculation among drivers suggests it may be due to traffic conditions and frequent road safety hazards in Lakewood Township. I bring this up because we had always stated in the post office there that we should be getting hazard pay like they do in major cities. I 100% agree with you, dude. Trying to make a left out of stop sign in Lakewood is like you're signing like a death warrant. You don't do that. You make three no. rights. Yeah. The, the, I have a funny story. Uh, you know where Blue Claw Stadium is? Sure do. In a couple hundred. So I was on New Hampshire. I was heading towards Howell. Uh, and there's there's a quick check. And like it's just backed up a log jam. The office is right and around there. Someone's trying to make a right right before the quick check, and I'm, like, right there. A guy sticks his head out of the window. Don't let her in! Don't let her in! And I keep inching up, and I'm, like, laying on my horn. I'm, I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, you're not coming in. I, I got in front of her, and the guy, like, half his body out the car goes, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. you! Just everyone knows, dude. It's, like, it's a spoken, unspoken thing. They are degenerates, and they fuck a lot of things up, and something's got to give. Take yeah. your cars away. Make them walk. Spill the wall around. Like, <sighs> give them bikes. They have bikes. Yeah, they 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 do, and, and they, they just, also try to run those bikes. And, yeah, you know, they dude, don't, it's, don't even. I don't, yeah, let's not get yeah. started. I'm just saying... Yeah. If you work in that area, they should be offering incentives regardless of what type of job yeah. it is. I think that's when my car insurance went up. They're like... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, just going for the record, not all, you know, of yeah. Lakewood is bad. 
No, it's the the driving there is is rough, and people yes. should be compensated if they have to work in the area. Is the point I'm making? Yep, because ever I actually have to go to downtown Lakewood to uh, in the next week or so to go install some printers. Okay. That's going to suck. Jack Black and Tenacious D have canceled their current tour and are putting a pause on all creative work. No. The media-induced firestorm was uncorked after Tenacious D's Australia concert date on Sunday. Kyle Gass made a joke about Donald Trump's recent assassination attempt. Jack Black was cut off guard by the comment and chose to take a step back to reevaluate things. This comes after conservative critics posted the, lip, uh, uh, the clip on Twitter trying to amplify the attempt at humor. Black posted about it on social media, apologizing to the fans for having to cancel their ongoing tour after all the media attention on Gass's comment. The comedian also made the decision to condemn political violence as well. Quote, I was blindsided by what was said at the show on Sunday. I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. After much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the tenacious, the tenacious detour and all future creative plans are on hold. I'm grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. Uh, Kyle Gass would release the following statement on social media. The line I improvised on stage Sunday night in Sydney was highly inappropriate, dangerous, and a terrible mistake. I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. What happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain I've caused. Wow. They took out your name this day, huh? Yeah. They were one of the best concerts I've ever seen. Fucking right-wing cancel culture. I mean, that is, there is such thing as too soon. Yeah, those, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, even Mike's me, comment. Even I mean, Mike's comment fair, earlier they canceled was themselves technically. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I heard the venues dropped them, there, and then they were like, "Well, we're going to cancel." Yeah. Oh, was so. their tour just an Australian tour? I thought it was international. It, it was an international tour, yeah. but all upcoming. Yeah, I heard just Australia was dropping them. I didn't hear they were no, being I dropped in other countries. I heard other countries were starting to get on board with the Australian oh. venues. Well, there you go then. Yeah. Well. Yeah. In their defense, they reside in Hollywood, and you're only allowed to think one way there, and oh. Orange Man bad. That's it. See, I don't bad. condone the violence. I just want him to drop out. Want them both to drop out. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I want them both to not be running for... I when you new people. Consider the options. Consider what's... Like, Dude. They're number one, right? Number one in each one, right? Think about two. Well, Three, listen, four, four. they're How many only are in this country. They're only number one. Thirty million. OK, Vinny. these two out of three hundred thirty million dollars of a million people is what we come like. This is this is where we end up. With no, so they, oh, listen, that's, that's not. Hold on. We Vinny. did the tinfoil hat one already today. If yeah. you want to go down the rabbit hole, I will present you with the red pill and the blue pill and then say trick question. What it comes there down is no to spin. is they're only number one because of the power plays they both have. He's number one because he's the current run. He is the current president, right. and Trump is number one because he has fear mongered his way through the Republican Party, and he has brainwashed enough people that that control most of it there that he gets to stay on top. Vinny, you can nod your head, oh, yes or no. It doesn't matter. That's how that fucking works. I mean, 90% of, not even 90%, I don't know the percentage, but there's a lot of Republicans that are they're not real Republicans. There's a lot of Democrats that aren't real the Democrats. They sure. all come together, they agree on war, printing money, and fuck everyone else. We're still right. making ours. Thanks. So when it comes to D versus R, it's not, it's misnomer. It's not a real thing to me. But those are the two figurehead parties that are put out there in front of the American people. And these are their choices for us because both of them are where they're at in the chain of power. A hundred years old. Yes. Barely hanging on. We're being, we're being run by dead people. Let's change the subject. Over in Australia, Doritos just launched coffee-flavored Doritos. Ew. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No. Yep. No. Coffee. I like it. Flavored Doritos. It's promoted as getting you through the 3 p.m. slump. 
Yum. Caffeinated Doritos. Yeah. This is what I'm hearing. Caffeinated. Nice flavored. Yep. Caffeinated Doritos. Biasi. Doritos. Nicotine Doritos are next. No. Mm. <laughs> Good old tomacos. Yeah. They're going to make them. <laughs> they did make them. They <laughs> Uh, if you head to Walmart anytime soon, you will be able to get Girl Scout mini cupcakes available in s'mores, coconut caramel, lemon, adventure Fulls, and thin mint. Okay. Yep. I'm there. I'm there. Too much fucking Girl Scout cookies and everything. Samosa's dog. Over at 7 Eleven, you can get blue raspberry. Slurpee or Cherry Slurpee Cotton Candy or New Big Gulp Gummies. What? Big, Wait, big, yeah. big Gulp Gummies. It's gummies and it looks like a Big Gulp with ice hanging out the top of it and I believe it's filled with blue raspberry jelly. Oh, I'm going to go to 7-Eleven tomorrow and that gross stuff. It's like the wax bottles almost. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a gummy. It's like a gusher. Okay. Uh, Blue Bell Ice Cream has a cookies and cream cheesecake flavor that just dropped. Sounds delicious. That sounds, yeah, that sounds really good. I love cookies Joe, and cream cheesecake. Have you had the Mickey cookies and cream cheesecake from the uh, Sunshine Seasons Terrace? No. Oh, Joe. I oh, want to. Delightful. Oh, it sounds so good. I love cookies and cream cheesecakes. Okay. Over at Walmart and Spam.com, you can get new Korean barbecue flavored Spam. Spam, 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 spam. <laughs> Funyuns and Maruchan have gotten together on a hot and spicy chicken ramen flavored Funyun. How many times just to say ew tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Mm. I can't even fake excitement for this segment today. <laughs> you're bringing like you're bringing like C minus. So I told you it was a light. It was a segment. light fucking news week, even on food news, bro. I mean, then just skip it. No, Werther's. You can cut your losses. You do have the right to do that. Werther's. I he said Werther's. I'm perking up now. Yeah, Werther's is dropping their limited edition fall flavors. We have caramel apple soft caramels, caramel apple hard caramels, maple cream soft caramels, and pumpkin spice soft caramels. You had me at all except for the last one. Is it a pronounced caramel? They make more than one flavor. Yeah, apparently they do. Isn't it pronounced caramel? Caramel. 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 There's an A there. Yeah, caramel. Caramel. Caramel is a that Clint Eastwood was the mayor of. Caramel. I got two bags of uh, Werther's popcorn in my pantry right now. and well, I got two guns. Yeah, One stick your, wow, my brain said, thought that you were sitting in two bags in your pants. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. You didn't get I, I, I went there too. Yeah. Uh, Burger King just dropped their new fiery menu. A fiery royal crispy chicken sandwich. The fiery bacon whopper. Fiery mozzarella sticks. Or mozzarella fries, I'm sorry. Mozzarella fries. Because they're not... They're, they're thin. Like a french fry. Uh, fiery chicken fries and a fiery strawberry and Sprite beverage. Uh, guys, guys, raise your hands if you still eat a Burger King. Uh, nope. Put my hand down. <laughs> nope. I don't eat any fast food place, but I have a question. Fiery, does that mean that it's spicy? A spicy strawberry shake? Yeah, it's not a shake. It's a strawberry Sprite. Is that or it comes on fire when they hand it to you? It's not a flaming, oh, it's not it's not a flaming no. Um, so if you didn't get your asshole blown out before uh -huh. eating Burger King, get ready, kids, because we have fiery molten asshole. Not only is it going to blow out the menu. It's not even just going to blow out your asshole. Because of that's a beverage, you're going to be pissing razor blades. Oh, yeah. Um... I'd like to, th I'd like to throw out an idea. Yes. Throw it. I mean, if you want to keep it, if not, just you know, send it right back. Um, I would, I would like to submit that um, if it's food news that relates to something that none of us are ever gonna fucking eat, 
like Burger King. Like I'm probably the most likely person to eat. Yeah, but like, King, what if it's something? I don't like, think I've eaten it in over a year. But what if it's so, like something unique? I think you could just go ahead and skip that new story. No. Since we're never throw it, eat throw it. it right back to you. And new coffee meat flavors. I know we have fans of coffee here, right? For I thought you said coffee meat. Mate, mate. Uh, yeah. Oh, be mate. They I'm have a, fan a of coffee. Mate. And, mate. And, 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 and ice cream that tastes like coffee and nothing else that tastes like coffee. Well, oh my god, Megan's gonna be away this weekend. I'm getting fucking ice cream for myself. <laughs> I don't know fuck what she thinks. Caramel apple crisp coffee, mate. So you can have a caramel apple crisp coffee. A chocolate caliente mexicano featuring abuelita chocolate. Caliente. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, that one sounds good. Mexican chocolate right there. And Kit Kat. Yes. Okay. Kit Kat creamer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I can get that right there. Walmart is dropping a bunch of new Better Goods spreads. A peach, nutmeg, and vanilla flavor fruit spread. A raspberry, cardamom, and rose fruit spread. Pineapple, rum, and coconut fruit spread. Pistachio nut butter. Cookies and cream spread. And a s'mores spread. Mm-hmm. I can't eat it if it's just called nut butter. <laughs> that, uh, that pineapple coconut spread sounds pretty good. Yeah, right? We'll hit yeah, the, right. We'll, we'll hit the wrong I mean, one. I feel like whoever makes nut butter, you're missing out on a golden opportunity to make. I can't believe it's nut butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's an excellent call. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, thanks. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Go on top, right? Yeah. Uh, or, over, how is somebody not made D's nuts butter? Oh, they have, uh, a, D, they have a D's nuts butter. Really? They have a D's nuts. Yeah. Uh, Good and Gather over at Target has dropped their pumpkin spice hot cocoa mix. Go get it, Joe. Uh, Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish have their new collabs, and they're both doing it with Snapple. So Snapple-flavored Sour Patch Kids and Snapple-flavored Swedish Fish. I'm intrigued on this. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Did you say that the right way, or did you mean to yeah, scratch, not, scratch yeah. that and reverse it? I said Swedish fish, snapples, sour patch, snapple. Wait, it's it's chewy things that are flavored like snapple, yes. not snapples that are flavored like Swedish fish or sour patch kids, right? Correct. Chewy. The chewy things are the snapple flavors. That is absolutely not what I thought you meant to say. Yeah. Did you Question. think that you know snapple that made makes so much less sense? Sn- well, snapple I've flavored candy. See what this thing looks like snapple. Are they like little Victor crumbs when they go underwater and uh, go no. of fire? It's the little fucking sour patch, and the, there's three flavors and three sour flavors. Sour patch body, it. fish head. That's what I imagine. I believe the flavors are kiwi strawberry, mucho mango, and or mango madness, whatever the fuck that one is, and uh, fruit punch. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm oh, looking man. at it now. Yeah, sure. I was really looking forward to a Swedish fish that was snapple apple because that's the yeah. apple snapple. I like snapple apple. I yeah. love Snapple Apple. Tastes like a... Maybe the Sour legit. Patch would be Snapple Apple. Over at Gro- uh, GooseCreekCandle.com, you can get popsicle-scented candles. Popsicle grape, popsicle cream, sickle, popsicle orange, popsicle cherry, cookies and cream, and bomb pop. Smell? Oh, oh, smell uh, I, I, I want to add this, and once again... It's not food. I know, I know it's not food. You want it, I know you it's not it food. Not throw it right I back know to me. it's not food. I feel like scents should not be included in fucking food news. But they're unique scents that smell they're like... Not, oh, they're, they're unique not, scents. They're not very unique specific. scents because you said cookies and cream four other times in this fucking show. I've not said cookies and cream once. I have a new scent. Not it's said called cookies the place between once. my butthole and my ball sack. <laughs> Your taint? <laughs> No, 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 that's the name of the candle. Oh, okay. Uh, Doritos <laughs> Doritos Minis are dropping limited edition Jumpin' Jack cheese. <laughs> Sweet Tarts Mega Rope. <laughs> Sweet Tarts Mega Rope Twisted. It's rainbow. Sweet Tarts Rope. Arizona Frost Chill Sickle. Available at 7-Eleven. That's their Bomb Pop flavored beverage. Krispy Kreme is giving you a passport to Paris this month with creme brulee donuts, double chocolate eclair donuts, 
raspberry and vanilla cream donuts, and caramel brown sugar creme brulee lattes available hot, iced, or frozen. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Right. It's great, no, but what do those smell like? Uh, deliciousness. Oh, because I thought we were on to that part of the show now. Yeah. Uh, Scent news. <laughs> fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> I start having sound news soon. <laughs> <laughs> all the feel news. Something? All the Did news. All the <laughs> sound. Skittles fruit snacks are now available at Costco and BJ's, which is weird because they have Skittles gummies, but I guess fruit snacks aren't really gummies, right? Gummies are a bouncy texture. Probably see some variety in texture, sure, but I think it's more about how they bag them to con us. But yeah, there's got to be like four of them in the bag for the fruit snacks. <laughs> I forgot something. <laughs> All right. Uh, Turkey Hill's finally trying to step up against Ben and Jerry's, and they're introducing Turkey Hill Late Night. These are pints with loaded with a, uh, toppings and, and what's not. They have Ultimate Cookie Overload, Salted <sighs> Caramel Chocolate Espresso, Mint Chocolate Cookie, Buttery Southern Pecan Pie, Cherry Chocolate Chunk, and Browdy Batter Cookie Dough. Oh, and chocolate If they want to compete with Ben & Jerry, just make your ice cream cheaper because they're insane. I mean, it, right is, now, ben it is cheaper than Ben & Jerry's, but it's just the shit quality. Yeah, I totally agree is with it? you. Yeah, yeah, Turkey Hill sucks ass. Yeah. Really? I love Turkey Hill uh, uh, mint chocolate chip. It's got a very icy, very icy texture. I don't like it. Oh, dude, you're wrong. No, you're not. so wrong. No, not, not you're at all. So you're so wrong, wrong about what crazy. you like. You're so wrong. Yeah, yeah l- listen to me about what you like. <laughs> okay, okay. I, could, I don't know if anybody else saw that or if it was just a thing on my screen, but while you guys were just arguing back and forth, I just had a bubble pop up on my screen that was a thumbs down. It's Mike. Yeah. It's Mike's yeah. got the, the, the thing he's on. I don't think mine's on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there oh, you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah, what did you just did that behind your head? He does. Yeah, I, he I, does I, the I, heart. I, I, it could see my four fingers. It couldn't even see the thumb, mm. and it figured oh. it out. Yeah. Somehow, I've never noticed that until just now. Yeah. I thought it was giving me the option to thumbs down what Vinny was talking about. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's pretty fucking down rude. Down on, uh, tap, tap. He's the last person I want to thumbs down. Yeah, it's thumbs down on Justin's yeah. shit ballot. No, um, Mike also agrees you know with me. Turkey Hill is so you know far. What? As much as I love food news, <laughs> I I think I'm fully in on sound news now. <laughs> replacing food news, not in addition to, but replacing food news. But I, I have a condition. If you, if you if you want it, take it. If not, just you know send it right back. Um, sound news, but hosted by Randy Newman and Scott Stapp. How are you guys feeling about that? Uh, Good, that's bad. A, that's bad. A, we make it. I love it. That's a whole different show. Now, is now, is yep. it pouring by you guys? No. Uh, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm warning. I just had yeah. to run outside because Minnie was outside. I saw on the camera a flash of lightning. I was like, I got to go get my dog. Aliens. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, All right, last, trying to head your guys' way. Last piece so, of food news right here. No, no, wait. Hang on. Hang oh, okay. on, Justin. Okay. I, have a, I have another suggestion. Yes. Maybe if you maybe if you try doing food news in a voice, <laughs> like if you do if you do a voice of a character delivering food news, I don't know what character would be appropriate. For it. Toretto. Maybe Swedish Chef would be great if he delivered all the food news like that. Don or some. Yeah. Don uh, Toretto. So we eat this food together. It's it's under review, Kyle. But just for you to finish food news, uh, more candle-related news. Oh, great. So, yeah, Bath. definitely edible Bath candles. And, Bath and Body Works is dropping Stranger no, no, Things. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I, I think Justin should only be allowed to read this article if he buys whatever is listed in this article and then consumes them in front of us. Deal. Consumes them, huh? Because I don't think this has anything to do with food. It has nothing to do with food. I will light them and smell them for you. No, 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 the guy said consume them. Like, right. eat them. But, but I can't eat them. Suppository counts because it's part of food news. But I can't. You're not supposed so, to eat them. You could. So if it's part of food news, I think you should be willing to eat them. But, well, this is, this is part of smell news, then. 
Okay. I didn't know that was a segment until today. Now, now it is. Well, because, we weren't, well, because, we weren't briefed on this, so well, I think it's like a good room, I think. You're being Any a, evidence? You're being a you shithead. You have to give us at this least is, 24 hours notice. This is why your wife's going to let me in to your house when you're sleeping, so I can put my nuts on your face. I mean, apparently she was going to let you do that anyway, so... Kyle, if this threat um, continues to escalate, I, I will hang out at your house. I will watch over you. You're always safe with everything. <laughs> well, thank you. You might have to sleep sitting up from now on. Yeah. It's making it that much harder. You know, the crazy thing is, she was just so said yes about it and didn't even take into consideration the one reason I thought she would say no. She'd have to see them? No, she just she completely ignored the fact that I would be sleeping next to our not even two year old. Oh well. She was just like, "No, it's totally fine for Justin to whip his nuts out." Nuts, it's 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 natural. Nuts are natural. She didn't even like. She didn't even bat an eye. No, she's just like absolutely. She endorsed it. Yeah. Uh, or on the other hand, while Justin puts his nuts on my face, I'm probably going to be batting both my eyes quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, a little you're tickle. Gonna, you're gonna tickle my yeah, butterfly kisses my tickle. balls. Yeah. This butterfly I'm kisses gonna, my balls on his head. Okay, we gotta wrap <laughs> this up. I think a fucking tornado's coming through. Oh, okay. Uh, Bath and Body Works, yeah, Stranger really Things winning. candles drops July 18th. Uh, 11's waffles. Steve scoops. Oh come on, no! You gotta eat 11's waffles in front of us. Argyle's pineapple pizza, and Hopper's coffee. Nope, you gotta eat Eleven's waffles in front of us. Done deal, dude. You know okay. what I'm gonna do Saturday when she's away? I'm gonna get a box of waffles, Waff- ice cream, waffle ice cream sandwich. No, no, I no. I'm gonna eat the waffles first. Rest. <laughs> and yes. Then I'm gonna eat the ice cream. I broke Joe. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, <come on>. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even touching that. <laughs> oh, it's not nice. The listeners are going to have no clue what's going on. All right, well, I think that's a show, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 I have much that I want to do a segment on all of our senses. <laughs> Pretty accurate. I think we're done. <laughs> yeah. So very bad. So if you like, <laughs> if you like it. We got to do Nerd a Douche. Yeah. I no, we just, just, just a nerd <laughs> for that. <laughs> No, but Dustin's and, douche for that. And douche, yeah, at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were, talking about, you were talking about the picture. I was talking about the segment we just had to endure. Hey, hey, it flushed out a show to 90 minutes, so you're you welcome. Flushed down the show? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah you definitely flushed flush the show down something. Flushing down's going to be what happens when my ball's gone. <laughs> uh. Okay, fine, I'll contribute too. <laughs> Well played, oh. Michael. <laughs> well played. I'm not. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're just what laughing at stuff that people can't hear. Hold on, I got, I got, I got, one, I got one more, one more. You know what's funny? <laughs> Megan will come in to like give me a hug sometimes, and I fucking dip under one arm, and I'm like, you don't even know what's about to happen to you. And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, rock bottom. She's like, why do you do this? And I'm like, you, you, you surprised me. And I just hit you with the smack down. <laughs> you haven't done this in a while. I did the show with memes that no one can see. Yeah, it's good times. Uh, my nerd of the week was Kevin Feige for sneaking Hugh Jackman comic books on the set of X-Men because they were apparently banned. Yeah, because Brian Singer knew exactly yeah. how to make those movies. Fucking Brian Singer. Um... Yeah, I th- I think everyone did very well today. Thank you. Yeah, for uh, I think four of us did very well today. For, thank you, Kyle. I appreciate you. Oh, you were <laughs> definitely the one I was talking about. You're the one that I want yeah. too. You're <laughs> the only one for me, and for repeat step the one two three. You know that one? I don't. No. Make you fall in love with me. You know two. I got it now. Never done by one. Who, who, who was that? You know that song from that, the Was that Brian McKnight? Maybe. That's a good one. Shopping panties. Now I'm saying, dog. <laughs> the, oh, that's, okay, that's, that's nerd and douche, right? Yep. 
Oh, that's a douche right there in the middle of my screen. <laughs> well, right dab in the middle. Since no one knows where the middle of your screen is. Oh, I think everyone knows. <laughs> all right, we're the listeners know. Stay, stay dry out there, all you, uh, all you land lovers that might be experiencing rain, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back to you next week with this cool hit. <laughs> Yeah, good night, all you kittens. W-K-P-P-L-B-B-B-W. Big bone one. Yeah, the gorilla. Uh, Then I say, fuck you, and go to tpublic.com slash nerdities, buy our t-shirts. There's a sale happening this weekend, so it will bring the price down for you pores, and we make less money, but that's what you want, isn't it, assholes? Go to SinfulCreationsByJustin.com and spend that extra money you saved on Prime Day today. Uh, you have it. It's fine now. He also offers candles now. Coming soon. It smells just like the food he makes. Yeah, it's coming yes. soon. Uh, candles. Coming soon. Uh, balls to butthole Yeah, balls, area. balls to butthole. Deodorants. Smells like cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Cinnamon B-2-B rolls. for short. Cinnamon rolls for your holes. Yeah. <laughs> Sinful creations by Justin.com. Joe, follow that. Yeah, follow this. Check us out on YouTube.com, YouTube.com slash nerdities. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when new content is coming. A whole lot of new content is coming because by the time you hear this, episode three of Nerd ETs. What, be, what episode's uh, that about, Joe? Uh that will be some uh Cooler of the ecto kind. Wait, what the, where the fuck's the magic middle cookies? The magic middle was. Oh shit, where was the magic middle? Tune in to find out. <laughs> All you did was Dunkaroos. All you did was Dunkaroos in the pie so far. Where's the magic Did you fucking right, forget for to that? edit the magic middles? You son of a bitch, that was the best <laughs> yeah, one. I gotta find that footage now. It's on this. We taped it the same day we did the Dunkaroos. Joe, I think you're doing great, dude. I think Even though you never fine. backed me up. You what now? What was that? No, they're not combined. Are they combined? They were the same day. I gotta check that. Yeah, you have to, because that <laughs> was the good one. Um, Motherfucker. Oh yeah, so uh, new, new content is coming, <laughs> including... Uh, we filmed this shit a year ago. It's taking you that long to edit it? <laughs> and you the, uh, son of a bitch. Yeah, you're doing great, dude. Joe Trilogy. Uh, stay tuned for a Halloween special that is absolutely fantastic. You were going to say fire. Say fire. It's fucking <laughs> fire. It's fire, dude. Go all for that. Don't. Don't say fire. Um, dude, it's there's so also lit. a Christmas special. Uh, my I, God. I will tell you something. The Christmas album commercial... Might be uh, some of the funniest shit we've done ever. Yes. Yes. So ring that bell to get notified when all this stuff is coming. We need money. We need budget. You want to produce this stuff. You want to see your name in lights. Write to us at nerdies at gmail.com. We'll croon, we'll spoon. We'll talk about your business and our product. Joe needs to money. find the fucking magic middles footage. <laughs> I do now. Uh, Dude, that's, so, that's a double entendre. That means like, you know, penis and vagina also. Find the magic middle. Okay, anyway. So the opinions of nerdy screw and idiotic and poorly fit out, but don't worry, next week's be far more insulting. Fuck bye, I saved you there. Fuck bye. Yeah, good job, Michael. <laughs> so, I, uh, right next to my PS, uh, one of the last few things I got at my dad's house was my uh, first DVD set of the original Star Wars trilogy, and I just I placed it right on the TV stand. A couple weeks ago, she goes, what's that? It doesn't doesn't point it out specifically, and I, I just pretend like I didn't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. It's still there. She hasn't moved it. They call that a win in America, okay? That's how you win. What? I, put, I have my Star Wars the original trilogy on the TV stand. Yeah. And she didn't move it. She's got all her fucking bullshit, all her fake plants and shit. Salt lamp, candles. I got my one thing. I got Star Wars. Small victory. Bye-bye.
fuck bye. Okay. Oh, you guys are still recording that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't say fuck bye. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I. Mm, drop! Let me tell you a story about a little fat boy that nobody loved and that all the other kids, they used to make fun of him. Son of a bitch, you know, you really no help at all, you know that? It's our time down here! I'm very poppin', y'all! Jesus, fucking cuckoo's nest. You complete me. I love you. Fuck off. I'm both frightened and aroused. Sometimes patience is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. <laughs>